Good morning everybody. We're going to be finishing off our readings about Holy Week with the final part of the story which is um, about Easter Sunday. At its heart this part of the Easter story is a mystery. The miraculous moment where Jesus, who's died, rises from the dead. And in many ways this really is the start of the Christian faith. The, this part of the story is told in all four of the Gospels and they all tell it with slightly different perspective but we are going to take our reading today from Luke chapter 24 and we're taking it from the International Children's Bible which I've read from um, several times before. Jesus rises from the dead. Very early on the first day of the week the women came to the tomb where Jesus' body was laid. They brought the spices they had prepared. They found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance of the tomb. They went in, but they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, two men in shining clothes suddenly stood before them. The women were very afraid. They bowed their heads to the ground. The men said to the women, why are you looking for a living person here? This is a place for the dead. Jesus is not here. He has risen from death. Do you remember what he said in Galilee? He said that the Son of Man must be given to evil men, be killed on a cross and rise from death on the third day. Then the women remembered what Jesus had said. The women left the tomb and told all these things to the 11 apostles and the other followers. These women were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James and some other women. The women told the apostles everything that had happened at the tomb, but they did not believe the women. It sounded like nonsense. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. He looked in, but he only saw the cloth that Jesus' body had been wrapped in. Peter went away alone, wondering about what had happened. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were going to a town named Emmaus. It is about 11 kilometres from Jerusalem. They were talking about everything that had happened. While they were discussing these things, Jesus himself came near and began walking with them. They were not allowed to recognise Jesus. Then he said, what are these things you are talking about while you walk? The two followers stopped. Their faces were very sad. The one named Cleopas answered, You must be the only one in Jerusalem who does not know what just happened there. Jesus said to them, What are you talking about? The followers said, It is about Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet from God to all the people. He said and did many powerful things. Our leaders and the leading priests gave him up to be judged and killed. They nailed him to a cross. But we were hoping that he would free the Jews. It is now the third day since this happened. And today some women among us told us some amazing things. Early this morning they went to the tomb, but they did not find his body there. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels. The angels had said Jesus was alive. So some of our group went to the tomb too. They found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, You are foolish and slow to realise what is true. You should believe everything the prophets said. They said that the Christ must suffer these things before he enters his glory. Then Jesus began to explain everything that had been written about himself in the scriptures. He started with Moses and then he talked about what all the prophets had said about him. They came near the town of Emmaus and Jesus acted as if he did not plan to stop there. But they begged him, stay with us, it is late, it is almost night. So he went in to stay with them. Jesus sat down with them and took some bread. He gave thanks for the food and he divided it. Then he gave it to them. And then they were allowed to recognise Jesus. But when they saw who he was, he disappeared. They said to each other, when Jesus talked to us on the road, it felt like a fire burning in us. It was exciting when he explained the true meaning of the scriptures. 
So the two followers got up at once and went back to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven apostles and others gathered. They were saying, The Lord really has risen from death. He showed himself to Simon. Then the two followers told what had happened on the road. They talked about how they recognised Jesus when he divided the bread. We're now going to say a prayer. This is a prayer that's special for this particular time of the Christian calendar and it is about the time when Jesus rose from the dead. If you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end. If you do not wish to make it your prayer, just listen to the words and think your own thoughts. We celebrate Easter with the disciples who saw the risen Jesus and who knew that love was stronger than death. We also remember Thomas, for whom Easter was a long time coming, and all those who feel alone in their doubt and despair this Easter. Risen Jesus, make yourself known to us all in due time, so we may know for sure the joy of heaven. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed listening to these stories um, about Holy Week. We're now going to have two weeks of Easter vacation, so I won't be posting any more uh, collective worship on the website until we come back in the summer term. I hope you've enjoyed them, and um, I look forward to speaking to you again after your holiday. Bye-bye, and God bless.